Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I have had questions on how do I list and sell clothing, and so I'm gonna give you a few of the details that work great for me. So some of the things that you need to know when selling clothing is first, you need to make sure it looks fantastic in the picture. So you need to be in a place where you can take great photos. I would suggest um, some place where you have the, um, the white daylight light bulbs um, if you're going to be inside your house because anytime you don't have good lighting, it produces a shadow or a discoloration on your, pro on your um, piece of clothing. And so if you've got any kind of shadowing, um, it's gonna look like it's a different color. Also, I would suggest not using the flash when taking photos because a lot of times the flash will make a green shirt look blue um, or a red shirt look pink and so don't use the flash just use your regular lighting in your home or go outside like I am right now and take a photo with it outside the other thing that I would suggest is making sure um, so number one is making sure you have good lighting number two is making sure that it looks good in whatever position that you lay it so if you're taking a picture of pants Make sure you lay them out so they can see the whole thing. Take a picture of every detail of the pants. If it's got nice um, detail on the pockets or if it's got cool buttons, make sure you take a picture close up of those things. All right, and make sure you crop the picture in so that it's seen very well. And so making sure it looks really, really nice. Number three that I would suggest, and maybe I should have put this one at the top of the list, but use a mannequin when taking your photos, okay? Even if it's jeans, you can put them on the bottom half of the mannequin and then pin them in the back so that you get a, get a good flat view of the jeans or the shorts or the skirt hanging on the mannequin. If it's a top, make sure that you pull it tight across the front of the mannequin, even if it is like a, you know, a 2X or a 3X type of shirt, pull it tight across the mannequin so that they can see the design on the front end of the item. And so making sure you have a mannequin, a female and a male mannequin, hang it on the wall um, and take a photo with that. Um, and then the fourth thing that I would suggest is take all measurements, okay? Um, any measurement that you think that you would like as far as fitting your item. The, um, the most common measurements is usually from armpit to armpit. They want the bust size, across on the men's and the women's shirts. They want the distance from the back of the collar, the top of the neckline, all the way down to the bottom of the shirt. Um, a lot of times they'll want to know from the armpit to the bottom of the shirt. When it comes to pants, they wanna know um, the circumference of the waist, okay? So you can measure across and say, you know, laying flat from this hip to this hip, it's this. Um, all the way around, you just double that number. Um, the length of the pants, you're gonna to wanna to list. You'll also wanna put, whether it's boot cut, skinny jeans, stretch, these th things of those nature. Um, if it's got pockets in the front, if it doesn't have any pockets in the back, make sure you list those. Also, the inseam is very, very important on jeans, of course, pants, any kind of pants. So you measure from the inside of the seam all the way down to the bottom. And believe it or not, the inseam on shorts uh, are very, very popular to have as well because there are some people that like long shorts, you know, kind of like the ones I'm wearing. And there are people that like short shorts. So make sure you measure the inseam of the shorts as well. And so those are some tips and tricks that I would say work really well for selling clothing. And um, I hope those four tips help you a lot um, and that you'll be able to get your clothing move, moving very quickly. Um, and I would suggest uh, Poshmark, eBay, um, and even on Amazon if it's a new item um, are good places to start, uh, as well as some of the Facebook and garage sale sites. So I hope this has been helpful on how we list uh, clothing items and what do I do to make the item sell faster. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. If you are looking for resources to help you resell, just click the eBay link below to purchase my Hooked on Pickin' reseller program, which I created from my 10 years of experience reselling. It has checklist cards for Amazon, eBay, and Goodwill. The Goodwill card has over 80 different tips, items, and strategies listed by department. The eBay card has a six-step guide for reselling, and the Amazon card has a six-step guide for reselling. They are fully laminated so they can easily go anywhere without being ruined. These are a great resource to buy. Just click below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.